Hello YouTube, this is Kaito JR here, and I'm here to do another speculation video for Chapter 131 of the Attack on Titan manga. So, what I think will happen next chapter is, for one, Hanji and her group are still, of course, on their way to Odaha. They haven't even made it there yet, they're still on ship. Still, I mean, with Annie, she's just, like freaking out that, I mean, first of all, the Colossal Titans that Aaron Yeager is controlling with, his final, with the founding Titan power that he has right now because he's been combined with Zeke. He is pretty much using that force to pretty much destroy. I mean, he, at the end of the chapter, we just saw him got to Marley. I mean, he wasn't already on Marley. He just got there at the end of the chapter. But yet, right now, all of Marley, even Libero, is being destroyed as we speak. So, yeah, I mean, Annie, she, she still has a right to be, you know, worried. I mean, about her father possibly dying from the, from the whole army of Colossal Wall Titans. And... Just because of the fact that she knows that her father is probably dead at the moment. I guess. Yes, her adopted father, Mr. Landhart, he is now, as as far as Annie knows, is dead. So that just that just makes Annie just no longer have the, having the will to fight at all. I mean, she she has like no reason to fight. So there's there's no really reason why she needs to go to Oda. So I guess she'll just turn into her Titan and then just jump off of the of the ship and just swim away because we know. Titans can swim as we saw at the end of the chapter where well not just near to the end of the chapter where we saw these colossal titans just swim right beneath the was it the global allied forces yeah the global allied forces that yeah, they're battleship they the colossal titans they just swim right under those things and then they just release this crazy amount of steam which pretty much boiled all of the soldiers on the ships alive pretty much yeah they all died from that fire from that from that hot steam pretty much not really fire but yeah i'm pretty sure once all the ships exploded and just sink into the sea there was probably like a lot of fire after that because of all the engines probably blew up from all the water pressure and stuff like that yeah so it's it's pretty much a huge failure in their part and now the colossal titans are just walking onto the shore of marley which all the Marleyan soldiers, pretty much all the allied forces, yeah, yeah, of course they're global allied forces, they're all just running away from the Colossal Titans, as well as Aaron, I mean, they see Aaron like, no, it's the attack Titan, everybody run, run for your lives, yeah, that's how they reacted, they're just getting the hell out of there as fast as they possibly can, I mean, it's kind of hopeless, there's nowhere they can even run to, I mean, even if they have more cannons or more advanced technology compared to the walls, from earlier on in the manga, yeah, which they have. There's no, there's still, there's still nothing they can even do. I mean, even if they have nuclear bombs, which I'm sure they they should have, that's still probably not going to help at all because there are like millions of these colossal titans, as far as I'm aware of. Yeah, 10, 10 million, I'm pretty sure of. Yeah, there's around probably 10 million colossal titans that are, that have erupted from the walls and are now just stomping all around the world, which is pretty crazy. For the Marleyans and for the rest of the entire world in general. I mean, Paradise Island is going to be safe, of course. I mean, we don't have to worry about the people of Paradise. However, just the rest of the world is going to be annihilated. Yeah, I think the entire world is definitely going to look like, you know, like this abandoned wasteland. Just, it kind of looks, it would look like just, okay, what's the comparison? Alright, have you guys ever played the Fallout games like Fallout 3, Fallout 4? Yeah, it's going to look just like that, pretty much. Just, a, just this abandoned wasteland full of, full of, hot titan steam just erupting from the ground because the amount of freaking cost that just like stepping on everything yeah yeah that's what's gonna that's what it's gonna look like just corpses everywhere of dead bodies from humans who pretty much died probably many other animals as well because yeah not just humanity is in danger all of the ecosystem around the world is in danger as well so yes they are all they're all pretty much screwed from aaron yeager i mean aaron is not gonna show any any sympathy for these people at all you know he's gonna he just refers to them as small animals that he wants to just eradicate from this world I mean that just shows how much contempt he has for these people I mean yes these are the very people who are responsible for getting his mother killed Carla Yeager yeah. earlier on in the chapter Historia even explained that look I can't believe you're actually going to go with this plan to to slaughter all the people in this world I mean, most people you're gonna be killing are probably people like your mother, Aaron. People who have never even done anything any wrong to you. Definitely, I mean, you're just gonna be the same as Reiner, even worse than Reiner. You're gonna, you're gonna be destroying the entire world. I mean, Reiner just destroyed Shingashina, some of the walls, and other stuff as well. But yeah, you're going to be annihilating everybody. So you're even worse than them now. Aaron, though, he doesn't care anymore. He really doesn't mean. 
the only way to end the cycle of pain and suffering and hatred is just to annihilate all life on this planet. I mean, we probably saw that with other anime out there with characters who wanted to do something like that. For example, Pain from Naruto. I mean, Pain, he wanted pretty much to annihilate... He, well, well, actually, yeah, he wanted to express pain to towards all of the other shinobi around the world of Naruto. I mean, that's what he wanted to do. You had Bach from Bleach, same thing. He wanted to annihilate all the Soul Reapers. I mean, yeah, I haven't watched the Bleach manga in a, in a while. I haven't read that, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he was trying to do something like that. I mean, he killed a lot of Shinigami, definitely. I mean, and he's, I mean, yeah, I mean, Ichigo, he didn't manage to kill him at the end, as far as we're aware of. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just bringing those up for just comparisons. That's all, really, for the most part. But yeah. Real like okay, but, but Aaron, yeah, he's he's going with the plan. He started trying to talk him out of it, but now Aaron already made up his mind. I think he t even talked to Flock about this, and then yeah, both him and Flock were cool with it. <laughs> yeah, freaking Flock. I mean, Flock is dead, of course, right now. I mean, he was killed by was it Gabby? I think Gabby shot him down, and then he fell into some water, and then that's basically the end of Flock's character as we know. So yeah, he's gone. But yeah, Aaron, he is currently right now going with the plan. He is. He has, I mean, this character has a ridiculous amount of resolve just to, I mean, he's he's definitely com committed to destroying the entire world, destroying all humanity, all life in general from this world, the whole ecosystem, around the world, the forest. Even the Arctic Tundras that he's always wanted to see, he talked about with Armin when they were watching this book when they were just little kids, how they wanted to go and see all these things outside the walls, but now, yeah, that's kind of... I guess it's not gonna happen anymore. I mean, maybe after he destroys all of humanity and all life in general, maybe then he'll save like the Arctic Tundras for after. Maybe because he, I mean, maybe he already just saw it. Maybe so now he doesn't really care. He has no, now he has no regrets. He's just going to kill everything and that's it. He's not gonna regret doing it at all because he's already just saw everything he needs to see around the entire world. I mean, he pretty much had four years, so yeah, he probably had had plenty of time. So, but yeah, I mean, just. Comment down in the comment section below if you have anything you want to say. Maybe if you have any ideas on what might happen in chapter 131, like what, I mean, what Eric can do next chapter because that's really interesting to know. Yeah, so comment down in the comment section below if you have anything you want to say about that. Well, that's it for the video, everybody. Thanks for watching and bye.